Hey everybody, Darren again. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the Darren Chatter Podcast. In this one, I'm going to share blog number 74 entitled Only Looking Forward. This was actually written August 5th, 2019. So some of these things have already kind of come to fruition, but it's fun to look back about a year ago and see where my mindset was and how much of this I have brought to fruition already. So I'm going to read it as is, as is, and then I'm going to add in a few things as I go. Just so we're clear on something, I only tell you stories about my past so you have some idea of where I came from. What I want to focus on is what I am building next. I think the phrase, what have you done for me lately, is a good way to look at life. Now, don't get me wrong, you have to stop and smell the roses once in a while. Be sure that you take time and savor a win or pat yourself on the back for a job well done. I was certainly very guilty of this early on. I did not do a a good job of rewarding myself for all the hard work that I put in. I would set a goal, I would achieve that goal, and then it was as if I just checked the box and moved on. This is one of the main reasons my racquetball career was a lot less enjoyable than it could and should have been. Despite accomplishing some things at a very high level, I never gave myself due credit. I have said this before, and it really kind of crystallizes what I'm, the thought I'm trying to share. I was number 18 in the world, and yet all I saw at that time was 17 people standing in front of me. I never turned around to see the entire planet lined up behind me. I had a very poor perspective the fact that I was not number one at the time, I made myself miserable being 18th in line. And yet I had achieved something that all but 17 other people on the planet at that time had done. Took me a long time to really put that into perspective and give myself the credit that I deserved. So looking forward, what is next for me? That is the magic question, of course, and none of us really know for sure. But here's a few things that were on my daily thought list and written on my uh, bathroom mirror. Again, August 5th, 2019. I want to schedule more talks at colleges and universities to be able to share my message to that age group. Number two, I want to grow my online presence, drawing awareness of my writing and speaking. Number three, continue to refine my lifestyle and find ways to add in more fishing trips as the norm and not the exception. To have time to do the things that I want to do, like public speaking, like continuing to write my blog, things like that. I want to continue to refine my lifestyle to allow more of that. My end goal is to be recognized as a thought leader and public speaker and be able to share my experiences with people who are interested in learning from me. I want to be paid for these efforts outside of the universities where I would continue to speak for free. Luckily for me, my day job continues to grow and expand, and I have more and more speaking roles in the work comp industry that are uh, affording, afforded to me as well. And the, I will consider every talk that I do, regardless if it's for my day job or for my own public speaking, to be good practice all around and not just focused in one particular area. Anytime you're on stage speaking in front of a group of people, it's good practice. Now, at the again, written a year ago, this is a grassroots effort. I am literally starting from scratch as I have built a new online presence on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and on my own website. I have the same number of blog posts as I do as followers on Twitter at the moment, (laughs) but that will change. It certainly did. I have some idea of the things that to make noise about that I will be employing shortly. For now, I'm focusing on the content and the quality of my output. I'm recruiting help from those around me, as I always do. No one reaches a goal alone. I listen to podcasts. I watch YouTube videos by experts on this sort of thing. I am not reinventing the wheel here. This has all been done before. Because of that, I strongly believe that I can do it too. I am getting help on my website. I am asking for people to share content and follow me on social media. All of it helps, and the more it grows, the more I believe I will be able to assist the rest of the world. Can you imagine how satisfying it would be to accomplish 
even some level of this goal, let alone take it beyond my current thoughts and expectations. I can't wait. Thank you for being part of the journey. You were here first, very early on in the process. I appreciate your time and attention. Whatever your goals and ambitions are, you don't necessarily have to make it as public as I am, but you do need to get started. Do it now. Don't wait any longer. And if I can be of help, please let me know. So some additional thoughts on this stuff. Um, I definitely hate the first hundred blog posts that I wrote. <laughs> not, not, not entirely true, but I can see my own progression and that's why it's fun for me to sprinkle in some of these from the not too distant past, but this was literally a hundred blog posts ago. I can see my progression as a writer. I am gaining more followers on social media. I'm uh, doing the podcast here as an additional way to share my message and try to bring awareness to what I'm doing and trying to accomplish. So it's a, it's a work in progress for sure. I have the opportunity to speak for Mothers Against Drunk Driving coming up pretty soon. And I already have some opportunities with Arizona State University, Northern Arizona, Northern Arizona University, and a few of the community colleges here in Phoenix uh, coming up in the fall, most likely remotely instead of in front of the classroom because of the current COVID-19 situation, but uh, still look forward to those as well. I love being in front of a live audience. It is the only replacement I've ever found for being on the court playing in the finals of a racquetball tournament. The excitement of having so many people watching what you're doing, that is a that that level of adrenaline is very addictive and public speaking is the next closest thing I have found to replace that. So I'm working hard to bring those things to fruition. Um <laughs> Unfortunately for my Mothers Against Drunk Driving talk, I am quote unquote qualified for that because I got into what could have been a horrific car accident a couple of years ago. I was hit head on by a drunk driver at five o'clock in the morning on my way to go fishing in Payson uh, with my dad. Luckily, my dad was not in the car. He was already up in Payson waiting on me. I headed out early in the morning Long story short, I ended up getting hit head on by a drunk driver who was coming around the curve, driving the wrong direction in a construction zone where there were concrete barriers on either side and I had no way to evade him coming towards me. I walked away from that accident with barely a scratch on the back of my hand. I was super, super fortunate. It could have easily ended my life. It could have easily had me be in a wheelchair or had some sort of head injury or something like that. I was extremely fortunate that my Toyota Camry and the airbags did its job and saved my life. Because of that incident, that was the catalyst for me to finally pursue my public speaking. I've wanted to do this for a really long time. I wasn't sure that I had a message to share And it took something as extreme as what could have been a life-altering accident for me to finally take the plunge and start doing this stuff. So when I talk about always, always looking forward, I am very cognizant of the past, the good and the bad things, and all the experiences that I have had. But I do honestly feel like I have been given a second chance, and I want to make the most of that. I want to serve and help as many people as possible. So the progress that I'm making, and I'm going to do a better job of this, this is something I've gotten better about too. I do stop and smell the roses these days. I do pat myself on the back for a job well done. I am proud of myself for what I have done so far. Today is July 9th, 2020, and I wrote blog post number 190 this morning. That's a lot of blog posts. (laughs) from when I started uh, not too long ago. I have gotten better at doing public speaking. I've gotten better at writing. I've learned a bunch about social media and how to build my own website and things like that. And I'm very proud of those efforts for sure. But it's only the beginning. 
I have no doubt that if I continue down this path and have the more and more opportunities continue to come my way, that all of this will continue to increase and I will no doubt reach the, we'll call it modest goals that I have in mind currently, which will of course be immediately refined once I achieve those goals to aim bigger and better down the road. But first things first, I've got certain milestones that I want to hit, certain things that I need to do in a, in a linear progression, and I am on the path to doing that. So wherever it is that you are in your life and what you're looking forward to, make sure that you map out a plan, that you do the work to get you there, that you stop and take a deep breath every once in a while, reevaluate where you're at, what's working, stick with that, what isn't, Replace that with things that are going to serve you better. Make sure that you give yourself a pat on the back once in a while for all the hard effort that you're putting in. Even if it's something that nobody else is going to see, if it's, a, if it's important to you, it is a worthwhile pursuit for sure. Don't ever lose sight of that. And again, give yourself the credit that is due when you continue to hit the milestones and show yourself that you're making progress. If there's anything that I can be of assistance with, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My website, any of my social media platforms, all of that stuff, I check it all the time. You can easily connect with me. I would love to help. I don't have all of the answers by any means, but if there's something I can assist with, I would certainly love to do so. So please don't hesitate to reach out. and Or if you just would like to leave comments in the uh, on the social media about the blog post and the podcasts and things like that, I would love to hear that as well. Take care, and as always, I wish you luck in your endeavors. Thank you for joining me on the Darren Chatter Podcast. I'm going to be reading some of my blog posts that I have written so that you can consume this information in an audio format versus reading the blogs if this is more to your liking. I'm going to share with you stories from my past as, a, as an athlete, as a coach, as a salesperson, as a business professional, as a VP of sales, everything that I have learned and amassed along the way in my 50 years here on planet Earth, I'm going to hope to share with you in order to help you shorten your learning curve, understand maybe a little different way to look at things, and hopefully learn a few things along the way. So here was the podcast you tuned in for. I hope you enjoy it. Please reach out to me when you can and let me know your thoughts. Thank you.